Well, happy Easter. They say he is risen. He is risen indeed. Well, why do they say that? It's to glorify the great I am. The word risen equals indeed and is I am plus nine. Okay. Risen equals 65, or sorry, um, this is beautiful. Risen is the I am plus I. This is um, I am plus 18, double I. I see, right, 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 right. So here's your end, your I am, or the first letter, and then here's your I am and the word risen, and the rest is pure threes. Here it's double nine, here it's 42. This is the I am plus I. He is risen, he is risen indeed. So those final words mathematically point to I am, the great I am. There's your I am verbatim in each of them. And then the rest of the letters make pure threes to maintain the offset for the Trinity to glorify I am. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Happy Easter Sunday. That parallels I am, ending with I am. And then this is all pure threes in front. This is 33 plus 33. This is 39. All that threes. And then I am takes the cake right at the end. Okay, happy Easter. Done. Done, 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 done. But now I solve the mystery. If he is risen, he is risen indeed. The I am. It's the great last words.